Hello friends, I will tell you what is the value of dictionary has as an information sources. Suppose in your daily life whenever you come across any words whose meaning you do not know or any activities you want to do or maybe in your office or maybe in your schools even, colleges even, whenever you come across some words which you do not know or phrase which you do not know. So, then dictionary is consulted by all of us. So, dictionary since our childhood is a unique source of information in terms of any kind of you know resources uh, for, uh, for English languages. So, today in a my presentation I will tell you dictionaries as information resources what kind of help it provides, features of different dictionaries, what are the types of dictionaries available and I will also tell you some examples of dictionaries. Now, brief history of dictionary if we see dictionary word comes from medieval Latin word dictionarium. Dictionarium means basically collection of words or phrases. Latin term dictio means word. Ancient Greek and Romans they first discovered dictionary. In their time what they have done they normally put lists of difficult words or specialized words in the form of dictionary. So, what type of dictionary we see today initially it was not like that rather it was a kind of you know it was a kind of a list of some words which they used to uh, consult whenever they feel any difficulty. Dictionary as information source when we consider as a modern dictionary it is basically a book which contain words of a language arranged alphabetically and with meanings. But most of the dictionaries go way beyond of this particular feature. So, they also provide you pronunciations, grammatical levels, illustrative quotations, some pictures as and when required, synonyms, antonyms, usage quotes, then you know usage notes, entymologies and derivation or history of words. So, as on date what we get from a dictionary is a much much beyond uh, actual phrase of the word. Now, when we see the feature of different dictionaries it gives meanings of any words. So, that is the primary you know role it plays, ordinary words it covers which we use in everyday life, some technical words for technical dictionaries or different kinds of subject dictionaries whatever is available, words used in scholarly writing, some idioms or phrases, some words emerging from scientific or technical discoveries or research and important proper names and geographical names are also covered in dictionaries. Now, every dictionary has a limitation, I, I would not call it limitation exactly, but actually what happens no language is static. Every day or in a year's time or in a month's time some you know new words are coined, some new records are therefore added in dictionary. So, dictionary basically is a dynamic book where coined words are always added from speech, from writings, from ongoing research processes. There are four types of dictionaries, one is general language dictionaries, subject dictionaries, special purpose dictionaries, bilingual and multilingual dictionaries. Now, we will see with examples what kind of you know information each of this type of dictionary provide. Now, when we see general language dictionaries, it covers the word of a language and gives meaning and definition also. So, like I said in earlier, it provides all those informations like pronunciations, grammatical labels, synonyms, antonyms, then you know derivation of history of words and so on and so forth. These dictionaries are mostly monolingual dictionaries. When we see monolingual means if it is an English language dictionary then it will give meaning of word in English only or whatever data they will give they will give in English only. These are some examples 
Now, most well-known dictionaries are Chambers dictionaries, Oxford dictionaries, then you know Merriam-Webster dictionaries. Now, you can also see that in different languages, dictionaries are also available in almost all languages as well as in our uh, country in different regional languages also you will find dictionaries. Now, if we take a typical word definition in Oxford English Dictionary, for example, spouse. Now, you will get pronunciation of it, you will see that you know spouse is a noun, word meaning means you know the husband or wife, then some example as a sentence how spouse word is used, synonymous words like husband, wife, partner, mate, etc., etc. Now, how this spouse word is originated, so that information we will get and then you know middle English from you know old French spouse this has come. So, that kind of information you will also get. It could be you know masculine or feminine that type of information also you will find as part of you know your definition. So, if you go again you know um, forward, so you will find some rhythmic sounded words like douse, drowse, all those kind of information also you will get. For editors or proofreaders, you will get some information and in any other languages like you know in English, uh, US English, what kind of synonymous or you know what kind of meaning they have given in their dictionary. So, you will also get those kind of information as well. Now, division according to size, this is most important because all dictionaries are not very voluminous. The There are you know some comprehensive dictionaries, we call them unabridged dictionaries. So, they contain comprehensive word collection, there are abridged or college dictionaries which contain less number of word, however, they are most commonly words or currently used words. Desk or children dictionaries you will find which contains much less number of words, however, they are more simple languages, they are illustrated with examples also. Publishers of you know normally uh, of dictionaries, they publish all variant of dictionaries during their process. Now, here I have given some examples of Merriam-Webster dictionary which are basically you know current English dictionary which are unabridged dictionary, some mini dictionary, concise Oxford English dictionary. So, you know some way or the other we are more familiar with this kind of you know dictionaries. If you see the general dictionaries examples, Merriam-Webster third new international dictionary of English language. So, it is basically three volume printed dictionary published first in 1961. Latest version is available in 2002 covers more than you know 4 lakh 50 thousand records. The Oxford English dictionary second edition published in 2003, it is you know from the Oxford University Press, it is in 20 volumes and printed edition includes more than 2,91,000 entries in 21,000 pages. So, this is example of Merriam-Webster dictionary. So, it also contains Britannica World Language Dictionary in 7 languages along with it which contains 6,000 words. When we come to average dictionaries, you see that pocket Oxford dictionaries are available pocket French English dictionaries are available, Merriam-Webster collegiate dictionaries are available, these all are abridged version of the main you know dictionary type. Children dictionaries are of different nature. Now, what happened when children first learn English, so they basically want some graphical presentation. So, my first English dictionary, so that gives each word or each letter along with you know some graphical presentation along with their meanings, etc. So, you know, DK has published such kind of children's dictionary, so as you know, many other organizations. Merriam Webster's has the online dictionaries also. In fact, most of the you know dictionary publishers have their dictionaries available online. Now, when you see the online version, it is easy to you know add words there. So, therefore, more than 4,50,000 words and their definitions are available. 
1,43,000 entomologies, many quotations, illustrations, if you see pictorial illustration, more than 3,000 illustrations you will find. So, that way, Merriam-Webster online dictionary is a world famous dictionary. In addition, the dictionary provides access to Webster Collegiate Dictionary also, as well as Thesaurus. Now, type of general language dictionaries, if you see Collegiate Dictionary, so it is covering nearly 1,65,000 entries over 2,25,000 definitions. So, you can see that this is a much abridged version of the main um, uh, Merriam-Webster dictionary. Merriam-Webster intermediate dictionaries are also available, school dictionaries, they contains more, uh, you know, less number of specific words, thousands of illustrations and, you know, some examples as well. So, primarily if you see that collegiate dictionaries or school dictionaries, they are covering, you know, those words which are mostly currently used and they are also providing examples and pictorial definitions. So, these are some examples of, you know, desk dictionaries or school dictionaries or intermediate dictionaries. Now, this is an important thing like in Wikipedia, all of us know, Wikishanary also is available as part of the Wikipedia group only. So, they cover more than, you know, 2 crore entries, if you see, with definitions as on 2nd June 2011, this is increasing, you know, every year. It is a multilingual web-based project with dictionary content in it, available in 158 language and updated every day. So, basically, online version of dictionary is, you know, used by many and collaborated by many volunteers as well. So, what is happening here that once any new word is coined or added, so they are getting edited also. So, you will find a search box there and the URL I have also given. So, you can search any term and you will find the answer to that. Now, second type of dictionary is subject dictionaries. Subject dictionaries concentrate on the definition of words in a given subject. If it is a subject is of any science uh, subject, so you know you will find maybe a chemistry dictionary will give you all terms associated with chemistry that way. Treatment of words are primarily encyclopedia type. That means you will find a very small write up attached to each of these words. These dictionaries are becoming increasingly common and available in different subject areas like, you know, arts, humanities, social science, science and technology areas. Some examples, if you see McGraw-Hill Dictionary of Scientific and Technical Terms, 6th edition contains over 1,15,000 terms and over 1,25,000 definitions in 104 areas. So, this is a very comprehensive dictionary in scientific and technical field. Oxford Dictionary of Astronomy, Oxford Dictionary of Chemistry, you know, Biology, all these are examples of subject dictionaries. Here I have given some graphical presentation like, you know, narrow areas like mathematics, like, you know, oncology, like science dictionary. So, all are available along with their, you know, common terms so that anybody wants to, you know, know any meaning of that subject, so they will be able to search through it. Now, special purpose dictionary is another thing which is most important uh, for, you know, some specific ling linguistic students or researchers. Dictionaries which are compiled for special purpose are basically covering linguistic aspects like pronunciation, synonyms, antonyms, literary aspects like quotations, idioms, proverbs, verbs, special type of words like obsolete words or acronyms, so abbreviations, so all these things you will find. These dictionaries are, you know, maintained and they are adding words, but not at that speed like the language dictionaries are having. Cambridge English Pronunciation Dictionary is an example. Cambridge Idioms Dictionary, another example of this. You can have Cambridge's Phrasal Verb, Oxford Dictionary of Quotations, uh, published in 7th edition, is published in 2009. 
So basically short quotations it's giving you. So these are some examples. Now when you see some pictorial uh, version of that, so you will find that Oxford Idioms Dictionary, rather Merriam-Webster Dictionary and Thesaurus, Oxford Dictionary of Pronunciation. So all these things you will find here. Special purpose dictionary has another you know varieties like rhythmic you know dictionary. So here you will find some similarly pronunciated words which have different meanings. So that is there some you know uh, Oxford dictionary of quotations you will find, crossword puzzle dictionaries you will find where crosswords and you know uh, puzzles are maintained very differently. So, special purpose dictionary provide us that kind of benefits as well. Now there is a very special type of dictionary comes under this category of special purpose dictionary which is dictionary on bibliographies. Now dictionary on bibliographies basically covers biblio, uh, biographical and bibliographical information on major authors, historians, journalists, publishers, screenwriters and you know that sort of. So use of latest volume index of contemporary authors you will find. Now one of that dictionary is dictionary of literary biography there basically literature experts details are given along with their you know biographical information. So this is a irregular publication first published in 1978 now available online as literature resource center. Now some other examples of dictionaries on biographies include dictionary on scientific bibliography published by the you know scribners in 1970 to 1989 on a regular basis. So this is a retrospective basis short articles written on excellent you know uh, writers or disease scientists who uh, contributed primary and secondary you know uh, sources of information or bibliographies in this uh, biographical dictionary you will find who made a different type of contribution to their profession or scientific communities. This includes people in mathematics, astronomy, physics, chemistry, biology and the art sciences. So you will get in a common place in a dictionary their details, areas of uh, work as well as you know uh, their, um, their, their life sketch in brief. Areas of technology, medicine, behavioral and social sciences are only included when their works related to the scientific areas are covered. Now this is one example of Merriam-Webster's bi biographical dictionary. Now another uh, interesting thing is bilingual and multilingual dictionary here. Now bilingual dictionaries give meaning of a word from one language to other language. Now in a sense you can say this is not the, uh, the, the way dictionary we normally um, like to see rather this dictionary uh, is a translation of one word into another. A multilingual dictionary gives you know meaning of a word in more than one language. More than one language means you know in, it could be in multiple languages. So it normally do not define any words, however it translate the words into some other languages along with some basic definition covered. Many of them are limited to scope because you know uh, translation of all the words are not either available or not included in the dictionary. You know some examples of this uh, type of you know translation documents you will find so in astronomy, biology, electronics, social science and many other fields. Bilingual dictionaries can be unidirectional or bidirectional. Now when it is a unidirectional that means that you know you are for example you are covering uh, English language translated into Hindi. So when all the documentation there inside that bilingual dictionary is in from English to Hindi, so that is called unidirectional. But some dictionaries also give bidirectional, so there you will find some conversion of Hindi words into English and their related meanings as well. Now these dictionaries are used by 
different translator, linguistic experts, students, scientists also. Because you know, um, not all scientists are very familiar with all foreign you know languages. So they use whenever they, they they read some papers or some you know articles where some specific um, foreign language words are used. So they want to you know consult this kind of dictionaries as well. Now some of the bilingual dictionary I have shown where French English dictionaries you can see and this is a bi-directional dictionary. You can see that you know French to English that written in English form as well as English and Francaise that means it is also available in that language as well. Similarly, Arabic to English dictionary conversion is available. Oxford publishes Hindi to uh, English to Hindi dictionary and so on. Several type of such you know translation dictionaries are available. One example of multilingual dictionaries here I have given you that is Merriam Webster Compact 5 language visual dictionary. Now this dictionary is very unique in nature. The way it has treated each word most of them are graphically presented so that it is suited to children or the you know college goers. So here it covers you know five languages in detail and from English to in different languages including you know most commonly used language like you know French, Spanish and so on and so forth. So this dictionary as you can see from the, pic, uh, the cover page itself that it gives you know for each word it covers it also you know uh, gives you some graphical presentation so that you can better understand or each of the parts of any you know um, uh, instrument if they are covering. So their you know graphical presentation that gives you a good idea of that particular document as well. Now another uh, example that I have you know earlier um, included in my presentation that most of these dictionaries are available online. Now online when we say these are available even in mobile form. So this particular slide show you that you know some language thesaurus or dictionary kind of you know words if you want to find out you can easily find out from your mobile phone itself. So it gives you a very detailed description of you know lang uh, the uh, definition of that particular word along with synonyms, antonyms and so as all the documentation associated with that word in, a mo in your mobile form. So you can simply download an app or you can simply go to internet through your mobile and you know can you know see your that particular words definition how it has been treated in a dictionary. There are number of dictionaries available online and these online dictionaries are quite popular and very well utilized also. Here you can find that you know Hindi uh, English to Hindi dictionary also available the in that is called Shabdkosh. In Shabdkosh when you you know study so you will see that the cover page gives you a very good idea of you know each alphabet wise you know searching each alphabet or otherwise you can search with a key, uh, keyword also or the word you are uh, looking for. And then when you search this particular alphabet um, so it, it, it gives you meaning in Hindi as well as you know its associated words. So friends now we have come to a you know uh, point when we are quite aware of how a dictionary basically initiated in the beginning from Ro uh, Greeks and Romans and that ha has taken a shape from the simple listing of words to a uh, basically you call it in a, in, a, in a varieties of you know um, uh, documentation associated to that words we call it definition in English dictionary. Then you know you can see uh, in this presentation we have covered different types of dictionaries like language dictionaries, like subject dictionaries, special purpose dictionaries and different kind of you know bilingual or multilingual dictionaries. Now one thing is very sure that dictionary is an integral part of our life today 
and it is available through online mode as well as print mode also. Although modern generation favors the um, online mode as it is available through mobile even. However, printed dictionaries are also quite familiar and you know people want to keep them in their um, home as well as in different libraries. So, dictionary provide us a useful tool which provide us a clue to each of the word and you know help us to either study uh, in the different languages or it helps us to know meanings of words so that our comprehension becomes more clear and our research or our um, you know study never gets hampered. So, dictionary as a secondary source provides a useful tool to humans for their all related daily activities. Thank you. Thank you.